Hello and welcome to Breathwood. My name is David Yates and once again I'm in another new place. I'm bouncing around cat sitting and subletting until I figure out where the heck I'm gonna live. So right now technically I remain homeless and it's actually a good thing. It's making me rethink what I want in a future living situation and it's making me get rid of a lot of stuff so I'm not carrying around so much. But of course, one of the things I carry around the most, or most importantly, at least a couple of didgeridoos. So here's what I want to talk about today. I absolutely love Stu's playing in Oka. So many of his rhythms, he just gets this really beautiful um, thing that just rolls along, sounding kind of like this. Here's one possible variation. <laughs> And so on. So these uh, tend to accompany like a nice driving dance beat and just underneath that the the dig line just like rolls right along. So I've covered this rhythm before and uh, I'll link that here. <laughs> so that breaks the rhythm down. So use that video to learn the rhythm. What I want to focus on today are two main things. One is the way we play the rhythm with our mouths. There can be a really subtle way, which is what I'm going for right now, and a much more exaggerated way. With the cheeks breathing, using for breath, it looks like this. That's totally fine. In fact, that's how most people will approach it, at least at first, because that's where breathing is happening for them. And you get some more emphasized sounds. You get a much more pronounced wah. You can push a little more gently and get less of a pronounced wah. So that's one way to approach this. I want to take it more inside the mouth. Remember, pushing with the cheeks is just one way of pushing air. <laughs> it's also possible to push with the throat, and the motion in the throat feels kind of like going from an ah shape, so make the sound ah, feel how open it is, ah, and then go ah mm, with the mouth still open, ah mm, ah mm, and feel how your throat has to close to make that sound. That's enough push. You don't need just it's all back there. That might be hard at first. A lot of my students have trouble connecting to the, the muscles of the throat. It's even helpful to hold your throat while you make that sound so that you can feel what's moving, okay? So if I go for less cheek action and more throat, um, in the beginning, we can kind of do something in between where the cheeks are allowed to inflate a little bit. Eventually we don't need them at all. We keep them pulled in. And it feels like going so at least in terms of the movement of the throat. Say that. If you want to add it at the end. Say it. <laughs> Say it. One more time. Then try. No, that's a little weird. Ah, 
then we have the T. Tang 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 the mm is the push of air so that's when we breathe in ta a ta a ta ta a ta na ta so when we make the mouth shape more subtle where it's really all just happening right here not all out here we get this really nice rolling sound when we can start to control the harmonics more specifically so i'll do it with minimal harmonics then ta n e ta n e ta e or ta n er ta n er ta n that's the way to change the harmonics that's one way that makes sense so basically once we make the mouth shape more subtle we can start to play with the tongue position in the ta -n, uh, ta -n, uh, shape ta -n -e, ta -n -e. so smaller mouth more subtle gives you a little bit more control over the harmonics and a little bit more level kind of wavelength as it rolls along rather than the cheeks making the the sound kind of bounce around everywhere um, from here we can play with the rhythm a little bit. So right now this is just one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And this happens in four beats. Da 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 one two three one two three one two one two three one two three one two. So four finger taps this whole beat happens. One two three one two three one two ta n a ta n a ta n if we want to shift it and be more interesting and mix it up, we can do something like add a sound at the beginning. So right now it's da a a da a a da a. What if we go da da a a da a a da da a a da a a da one two three one two three da one two three one two three. We've shifted kind of like the end sound to the beginning. So the first version. The second version. So I'll hold up one for first version, two for second version, and switch between. <laughs> so we can switch back and forth phrase by single phrase phrase one phrase two phrase one phrase two we can switch back and forth playing each one twice phrase one twice phrase two twice four times up to you then I started thinking well what about adding two sounds so right now I'm going something like da do wa a do wa a da do wa a do wa a what about da da do wa a a ah it changes how much space we have for the rest of the rhythm. Da da do a a a. Da da do a a a. Da da do a a a. It actually changes the rhythm. But that's the idea. What if we put a sound at the beginning or end of this rhythm? How does it change it? Where does that take us? 
That's the exploration. So original rhythm. One dot at the beginning. Two dots at the beginning. The way I handle that third variation and the way the rhythm changes is to go da da do wa do wa. That's one way. Da 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 ng da ng. Da da. That's one way. Da 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 da. Or to try to stay true to that triplet sound from the first variation. One two three one two three. We've got one two three one. Da da one two three one. Da da one two three one. So we need a little sound right at the end. And I'm just going di da da ta n a da 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 ta n a da. Then I got to thinking, what about three sounds at the beginning? Da 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 a a da a a da a. Ooh, it suddenly wants to get long again for me to help complete the roundness of the rhythm. Rhythms like to break up into chunks of varying lengths. And then multiples of those chunks. So when we added two sounds, we shortened how much room we had for the rhythm. When I add three sounds, it kind of pushes the rhythm into the next phrase, so we have enough space to develop it again. So when I was playing around with three da's at the beginning, the rhythm ends up sounding like this. <laughs> That was it. Let me try that again. Da 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 do wa a do wa a do wa a a da 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 do wa a do wa a do wa a a da 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 do wa a do wa a do wa a a. One two three one two three one two three four. Da 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 one two three one two three one two three four. Da 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 un a da un a da un a a. That da un a a is kind of like the one we used when there were two sounds. Da 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 un a a da 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 un a a da un a a. Or da un a da da. I'm not just going da da da. It's more like der 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 de, der der de, der der de. Yeah, it's a really strong er, round kind of open er er, der der de, and then a bit of an e. Not the most intense e e, but e, almost an i. Der der de. And then I'm singing slightly out of tune with the didgeridoo, but that's a whole other level. That gives me just a bit of gravelly tone to it. So let's see if I can do this. I'll play phrase one, two, three, or four, and switch between them. And for now, we'll leave it at that. I won't break it down too much more. It's just some ideas to throw out there. Go back and watch the other videos for.、Uh, You know how the rhythms break down a bit, and then let me know if you have questions, and let me know where you are taking this. You could send a video, or let me know where you want to take it, or what you need help with. So, the different phrases.
So that takes one rhythmic phrase that's already pretty awesome <laughs> and interesting and turns it into a whole new world, especially when you start to switch back and forth. And there's a lot more we could do just with that. So your homework, listen to Oka. Go back and watch the video where I break this down. Um, one, one of the videos is a didgeridoo rhythm re-explained. That's the, that's the place where it all started for me. Um, and then, yeah, mess around with combining the rhythmic phrase, do wa a do wa a do wa, da un a da un a da un, and putting a sound before to slowly shift it somewhere else. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Um, thanks for all your patience. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for all your love and support. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks for all your questions. It's been awesome sharing with you and I look forward to continuing to share more. As always, thank you for watching and happy playing.